Hello friends, it's Marilyn Rivera here with a new video tutorial for Dress My Craft. I create this uh, mixed media layout using three photos, using the iconic beauty collection by Dress My Craft. I'm going to show you uh, fa a little fast. <laughs> the paper, these are gorgeous. Look this one, I'm going to use this one. Look all the texture that it looks. Let me show you this side. And I select this paper with the door. I'm going to cut out the door to use it on my page as you see here I just love the uh, vintage look of this uh, door I also cut some of the lips as you see and I'm going to put them aside and use it later here is the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my paper and for that reason I am apply clear gesso over all the paper it, it makes uh, the paper uh, surface ready for all the mixed media ink that I'm going to use. I am figuring out where I'm going to place this on my page. But once I know, I'm going to use this beautiful stencil to give more uh, hints of colors on the background. I'm using the Distress ink. This color is the warm lipstick and I apply the ink with a sponge uh, and I'm going to show you how lovely is the design of the stencil. Look at this. And I want to add more color near here to the bird cage. I am playing with the angle here of the stencil and I'm going to add color in this area. I'm trying not to cover the bird cage, but as you see, I bring the color. And this color is perfect for this paper because it's very similar to the uh, flower papers on, <coughs> on the background. Here is ready. I'm going to let it dry the paper and now I'm going to adhere cardboard behind this piece. Okay, now I'm going to cut, I cut two stripes of white cardstock and I want to make the scallop border here in one of the side of the strips, stripes. You can see here both and now I'm going to ink the scallop with vintage photo. I am inking all the border with this uh, ink. Once it's ready, I'm going to start to build everything but first I need to trim off this border of the paper and I eliminate this part and it is ready. Now I'm going to start to build my composition here. I want to put the scallop stripes on the bottom of this piece here that has the uh, door. I am trying to figure out how much of the white space I want to show and once I know I make um, marks with a pencil and now I'm going to trim a little of this piece that it was too big because I want to adhere this piece direct on on the paper <coughs> as you see here I add the adhesive and put it in the white border here direct to the paper I will add a little of pressure here to adhere this and now for the second uh, stripes I want to adhere the, the other one over the cardboard on the back in that way I can add dimension to both pieces and it will look more nice I will show you soon okay I put this here make a little of pressure and the first one has dimensions and once I add cardboard on the back it will give more dimension too and here I am trimming off the white borders of this side it is ready now and I can show the bird cage uh, that is in the right side now I'm going to adhere this direct to the paper it's here make a little of pressure and it is ready <clears throat> now I'm going to work with my photos. This is my hobby and I in Co Cooperstown, New York in uh, our recent vacation. I just cut for this photo using the stitched scallop rectangle basic designer dies. This mat that I love because it has the stitches plus the scallops and it goes perfect for my photo. I uh, cut out this sentiment from one of the uh, motif sheets 
from the same collection and adhere the sentiment to a piece of scrap that I have from the same uh, piece of the door. <clears throat> now I'm going to, uh, I make like a mat, a brown mat uh, for my sentiment and it pop up more the sentiment. Now I'm going to cut a few of these motifs and put them aside. Here's when I start my composition and I'm adding now the cardboard because I want to uh, give dimension to my photo. And I also, as you see, I cut two, fo two photos of the same size, but one of them I make like a mini photos, one of the face of my husband and one of my face. <clears throat> and with the same t-shirt scallop rectangle dies, I use the smaller uh, rectangle and make mat for the tiny photos too. And that way I have the three photos with the same mat in different uh, sizes. Here I add in uh, the hot glue to secure the bottom part of the door and adhere all this piece to more cardboard that I put behind the scalloped stripes. In that way I gave, uh, I gave more dimension. I am playing with a small photo. I'm making them in different angles. And now look how pretty is this tiny doily. This is a die from Dress My Craft. I already made these beautiful flowers using the uh, the curved flowers. The flower flower making cutting dies. The curved flowers are this die. And I am playing with the different flowers with some of the leaves that I cut out from the paper and this leaf, specifically this one, I cut it also from the same curved flower. It comes with three different sizes of leaves and I'm using here the medium. And did you see this tiny pink flower that I put aside? I made it also with the same ties. I used the medium and the tiny uh, flower size for this page. <laughs> I continue adding the, the, the different uh, doily that I cut out from different from the die. I'm playing with uh, making my composition here with the motive elements, the flowers, the leaves. I am trying to uh, recreate. Okay, <laughs> I took these photos in Cooper, uh, Coopertown, New York. I went, I think it was last August. Uh, with my husband and my brother-in-law and his wife and we have a great time and I was looking at the uh, old town and they have these uh, buildings like uh, brick buildings covered with all these leaves and flowers that inspired me to create uh, this page today. So I am trying to do something similar. I just love that in this old town has these old doors, very similar to the one that I'm using in this page. And they have uh, the building with the leaves, the flowers, it was so pretty. So I have been inspired in all that I saw in this place to create this page. And here I continue playing with the different elements, the doilies that I cut out, the motif uh, images and everything. I'm trying to, you know, to see like it is, it is like a garland with uh, different leaves and flowers, very similar to uh, what I saw in this town there in New York. I add the, the key and the difference and once I have all the elements placed I'm going to adhere this off camera. I am putting a flower between the two scallop stripes on the bottom. Sorry that it was uh, out of uh, you know out of uh, focus not out of focus out of, of the area that I'm working but I will show you soon uh, what I did on the bottom part. Here is where I adhere everything out of camera and now I've got, I'm going to start to add more elements to my page. I just love these pearls. They have the similar colors that one that I'm using in my page. So I am trying to adhere them uh, in different sizes, the medium, the smallest, and put it here and there. I'm using my hot glue here to adhere uh, everything. I, I think that is because I want to uh, move fast with this. 
and uh, I prefer gel medium sometimes because it's more secure as adhesive but I want to uh, you know for if you use gel medium you you need to let it dry so uh, I want to move fast anyway here I am adding now I want to give some sparkling tornasol effect on the background and I'm uh, select this uh, sequence I am selecting the pink ones the pink colors all the pinks and I put it here and there on the background and I'm also going to adhere it with the hot glue this time because I want to uh, move fast with my page I'm going to let you all the products that I'm using in this page I will let you uh, the link down below and you can go and and check all these uh, products here you can see I am checking to see if uh, okay I found this leaf but no problem I'm going to cover now the photos I want to give more textures on the background and I am adding white paint splatters here and there over all these I just love the texture that it brings to the projects and the chubby chic look that it brings and this paper as you notice on the background it has like a black uh, paint splatter so for that reason I decided uh, after I apply the white give more of this effect on the background because it makes a nice contrast between the flowers the number on the door and all the el uh, elements here and there so I am adding some black paint splatters I add a little more and now let me remove this and show you it is wet but I'm going to show you how it looks let me careful uh, okay show you you can see here how lovely everything looks well I love it <laughs> but check here the texture the nice that the glimmer that the sequence bring uh, you can see is a combination of vintage with chubby on the background well I hope that you enjoy this video tutorial that it inspired you to create something similar check the description box down below to for all the material and if you like this video tutorial let me know with a thumbs up and a comment down below here are more clo uh, closer photos and check uh, my social media to find the photos and more details about this project i hope you enjoy and i come back soon with a new video tutorial nos vemos bye bye